I think one group of nutrients that often gets overlooked are polyphenols, right? Polyphenols are really responsible for giving plants their vibrant colors and they play just an absolute critical role in keeping plants healthy and really protecting them from disease. And believe it or not, there's over 500 different types of polyphenols, each with its own unique set of benefits. And really one of the reasons they're so important to our gut health really comes down to their antioxidant properties. Now, antioxidants really protect our cells from the damaging effects of free radicals. Free radicals are responsible for tissue damage, for inflammation, and really for disease. Now, if you're a patient of mine, you often hear me speak of oxidative stress and why it's so damaging at the cellular level. Well, SIBO, intestinal dysbiosis, yeast overgrowth, opportunistic bacteria, all of these cause oxidative stress at that cellular level. In fact, most gut problems at the very root level involve some degree of tissue damage, some degree of inflammation, and often oxidative stress. Now, the difference between a healthy gut and a sick gut often comes down to diversity. A healthy gut always has greater diversity, and an unhealthy gut has low diversity, meaning that there's really not many different kinds of bacterial strains that are inhabiting the gut microbiome. And polyphenols fill that gap because they help increase bacterial diversity by increasing abundance of these good beneficial bacteria and reducing the harmful ones. So that's always a good strategy, right? Crowd out bad bacteria by encouraging good bacteria to grow. And that's exactly what polyphenols do when someone has gut dysbiosis. Now, the last reason I wanna share with you in terms of why people who have gut issues should be taking polyphenol supplements and eating more supple or eating more polyphenols really comes down to the gut barrier, right? Polyphenols help improve and strengthen our intestinal mucosal barrier. 